who arrived in India last night to hold talks on a host of bilateral issues with Prime Minister Modi. She will be accorded a ceremonial reception at Rashtrapati Bhavan in a few hours and will pay tributes to Mahatma Gandhi at Rajgat later in the day. Uh, Merkel is accompanied by several state secretaries of the German government and a high-ranking and high-level business delegation. In their wide-ranging talks, uh, measures uh, to boost trade, investment and cooperation in new areas such as artificial intelligence are expected to be on the agenda. The two leaders will jointly chair the fifth biennial intergovernmental consultations and nearly 20 agreements are expected to be signed between the two nations. One, of course, is the foreign policy and security issues. Uh, that has been a standard part of uh, any uh, IGC consultations in the past. We also expect some uh, discussions to happen on the economic trade and investment issues. Uh, there could be some discussion on cooperation in agriculture. Uh, education, science, and skill development uh, could be another area. And also, uh, under science, the, the new technology, the new frontier areas of, of cooperation. And uh, of course, you know, people-to-people -people contact, uh, cultural cooperation. Um, so these are the broad areas which are there. Uh, you know, that with every visit, you know, you know that Chancellor Merkel and Prime Minister, they share a very strong personal rapport. Uh, uh, the format of the discussion, you know, at the, the top level with ministers supporting, uh, this has helped in expanding and consolidating the relationship. We are moving into new areas. And we do hope that with this visit uh, of Chancellor Merkel, we will further expand our relationship uh, and take it to, uh, to, to, to uh, new heights. CNN News 18's Maha Siddiqui is joining me on the phone line for, with more details on the German Chancellor's visit. A very good morning to you, Maha. The German Chancellor arrived last night at 9.15 p.m. with the pollution levels plummeting to severe levels. Not the best time to visit Delhi, some would say, but uh, what's on the cards now that she's here? Well, we are expecting a whole range of uh, agreements to be exchanged during this meeting. Uh, anywhere between uh, 15 to 20 is what we have been told. And uh, some of these uh, could be between uh, artificial intelligence, cooperation between uh, uh, ISRO and German company, uh, BLR. Uh, also, cooperation, if we look at other areas, for instance, sports, we are likely to see some uh, agreement there happening as well, something on Ayurveda as well. So a whole host of issues that could come up between the two sides, even as far as technology is concerned. There's a huge uh, uh, delegation that Angela Merkel has got with her. There are about 12 ministries that are represented today, uh, Uday, and uh, out of which three are cabinet ministers. Uh, so all these people coming today for this um, uh, meeting, and the meeting, uh, the mo major part of the program is confined to today. They landed uh, yesterday, of course. And then uh, we have also been, uh, you know, uh, given to believe when the German ambassador was asked that question before uh, uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel's arrival in India as to whether a whole host of issues would also include Kashmir. He said it is a possibility, but uh, it's not as if that issue is going to be taken up. Uh, if at all, he said that there is, because there is a very good understanding between uh, Angela Merkel and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, if, uh, if there is a need felt by either side to uh, either explain their position or for the other side to understand India's position, then that might come up, but it still remains an if uh, as far as the issue of uh, Kashmir is concerned. So what will be the top focus of that uh, intergovernmental consultation, Maha? Because, you know, uh, both India and Germany are keen to expand their volume of trade beyond just 23 billion US dollars. Uh, is that, uh, you know, cooperation on economic issues, is that likely to be the focus of uh, the Modi-Merkel meet today? Yes, absolutely. That has al already been uh, one of the major uh, focus areas uh, uh, in uh, cooperation, how to increase the trade volumes on either side. We are also likely to see, if we talk about specifically trade, uh, some sort of an agreement between India, Germany and Siemens, uh, the company. Uh, this will be with regards to uh, localized training as well as education. So uh, mm. in many spheres, we are going to see uh, these uh, MOUs being exchanged today. Uh, health, uh, 
and agriculture also being one important focus area. Agriculture, as far as that is concerned, in fact, even uh, trade on that count. So clearly that remains one of the major focuses. But uh, because uh, the relationship between Germany and India has been uh, quite, uh, you know, thick for some time, and we've seen cooperation in many other areas, in, in fact, even as far as clean energy is concerned. Uh, mm. Germany is very good at uh, using solar energy. India, of course, is uh, now with France heading the uh, ISA, which is an international solar alliance. Hmm. Uh, all that aside, a lot can be drawn as far as or learned uh, from Germany as far as keeping the environment safe in this, as you're pointing out, uh, the severe air conditions that uh, Angela Merkel is arriving in. Remember, India is also being assisted by Germany in providing uh, the technology they use to clean up their river Rhine uh, as far as cleaning up India's ri holy river Ganga is also concerned. So all that cooperation has already been there, and we are likely to see a, a building on that itself. And trade, of course, remains one important area, not just for Germany, but many other countries. Now that most countries are looking at, uh, uh, you know, diplomatic relations, not only being built on ideology, ideology, but many mm. of these realistic uh, factors which involve trade as well. Certainly a lot that both countries can learn, in fact, uh, learn from each other. Maha, we are getting live shots now uh, from Rashtrapati Bhavan. This is the ceremonial welcome that uh, Angela Merkel is going to be accorded today at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, of course, uh, there is a slew of meetings, as Maha was pointing out, that uh, she has uh, planned for today, a series of engagements, including two uh, with the Prime Minister. Maha, uh, walk us through these uh, visuals that are coming through. Uh, this is the ceremonial welcome accorded to any visiting uh, head of state, uh, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. And we uh, see that happening in the forecourt of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. After the ceremonial uh, guard of honor, uh, we also see sometimes uh, if uh, the dignitary who is visiting wishes to interact with the media, they give some sort of opening statements there to the official media present, which is largely, uh, you know, through Darshan being present there. Uh, otherwise, we see the news mm. agency ANI being present there. But only opening statements. There are no questions asked. Uh, the visiting dignitary can just talk about uh, uh, the relationship with India and what they are hoping to achieve from uh, the bilateral meetings that are going to be held right. in the uh, hours to come. Uh, so largely, this is the focus of uh, the ceremonial guard of honor which is at the moment there on the television screens. Okay. Alright, so there we have it. Prime Minister Modi and Chancellor Merkel shaking hands there, finally meeting on her visit to New Delhi. Thank you so much Maha Siddiqui for tracking that story for us. The personal bonhomie between the two leaders is expected to drive uh, in large part uh, the, uh, the, the, the relationship today between the two countries.
German Chancellor Angela Merkel receiving a guard of honor there at Rashtrapati Bhavan. This is the ceremonial reception that any visiting head of state receives, and that is what the German Chancellor is uh, receiving at this point in time. She is going to meet uh, that. Those visuals, of course, are from the forecourt of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. She is going to meet uh, uh, the President of India, Mr. Ramnath Kovind, later on in the day in a formal call on. Uh, but uh, this is the ceremonial welcome uh, after which uh, she will make her way to Rajgat to lay a wreath of flowers on uh, the uh, samadhi of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. At 10 a.m., she will begin her engagement uh, with her series of engagements with a meeting with the women leaders from India that will be at the Oberoi Hotel in New Delhi. And at 11.30 will be her first formal one-on-one -on -one meeting with Prime Minister Modi. They've already met there. You can see those visuals on your screens. Prime Minister Modi escorting her through the forecourt of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. They'd already met uh, when the ceremonial welcome began. They shook hands uh, just a few minutes ago. But the formal meeting will take place around 11.30 a.m. at Hyderabad House, which is where all visiting heads of states are uh, hosted uh, by the Prime Minister. Uh, after the meeting, which will last about 15 to 20 minutes, uh, they will start the intergovernmental consultations, which will be chaired by both Prime Minister Modi as well as the German Chancellor. So a series of agreements uh, uh, are likely to be signed and exchanged between the both sides. And around 1 p.m. is when we are expecting to hear of uh, which agreements have been signed between the Indian and the German sides. There will be photo ops and business meetings, uh, meetings with the business community, after which uh, it will be a visit to Gandhi Smriti later in the day uh, by the German Chancellor, uh, followed by a formal call on uh, the Rashtrapati, by, uh, a formal call on uh, by the German Chancellor on uh, President Ramnath Kovin. And uh, it is later in the day, around 6.30 p.m., that another meeting will take place between uh, Prime Minister Modi and Chancellor Merkel. This, so, therefore, a total number of two uh, high-level engagements between the two world leaders, Prime Minister Modi and Angela Merkel, today scheduled uh, as she visits New Delhi. Now, remember, she arrived in New Delhi, in the national capital, around 9.15 last night, amid uh, deteriorating uh, pollution levels in the national And I'm very excited about the program. Deutschland and India combine a Wir werden über alle Aspekte unserer Regierungszusammenarbeit sprechen. Wir werden Memoranden unterzeichnen. Und dabei wird sich herausstellen, dass es eine sehr tiefe und breite Zusammenarbeit zwischen Indien und Deutschland gibt. Und natürlich sind wir voller Hochachtung vor dem großen, vielfältigen Land Indien, das ich leider nur in einem ganz kleinen Stück besuchen kann. Let me say, sorry. Let me say that I'm delighted uh, to be here in India for these, the fifth intergovernmental consultations, uh, to be together with the Prime Minister as an honoured guest. And uh, I would like to thank the Prime Minister for the very warm and gracious welcome uh, with which we have been received here. Uh, this is my fourth visit here to India and looking very much forward uh, to this interesting uh, programme. Uh, Germany and India um, are linked by very close ties indeed. Uh, we have a number of discussions here um, of, on uh, issues of common interest. Uh, we shall have the opportunity also to sign a number of memoranda of understanding um, and other agreements. And I think that that shows very clearly that we have indeed a very broad, uh, very broad base, a deep relationship. Uh, we have been cooperating for many years and we will build on this cooperation um, in the future. There's a very close relationship, as I said, between India and the Federal Republic of Germany, and we have uh, great respect and admiration for uh, this very vast country and its great diversity, its great variety, um, and uh, so that is uh, something that uh, we wish uh, to build on this relationship. Unfortunately, this time I will have only um, time for a very, very short visit, and I will see only a very small part of this wonderful country. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, so German Chancellor Angela Merkel saying uh, how she will lead those intergovernmental consultations along with Prime Minister Modi, along with Prime Minister Modi that will be around 11.30 a.m. Uh, when the intergovernmental consultations will begin. For now, the ceremonial welcome at Rashtrapati Bhavan has happened. The Prime Minister has received the German Chancellor. You can see her meeting. That was External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar there shaking hands with the, uh, the, with the German Chancellor. She's being escorted by the Prime Minister through the ceremonial welcome as well as the Guard of Honor. Uh, after this, uh, Angela Merkel will make her way to, Raj, to uh, Rajghat, I beg your pardon, to Rajghat where she will lay a wreath of flowers onto the Samadhi of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the Indian nation. And uh, she has a series of engagements planned for today, beginning at 10 a.m. with a discussion with uh, uh, Indian women leaders around 10 a.m. And 
uh, an hour and a half after that, around 11.30, she will make her way to Hyderabad House. Remember, Hyderabad House is where uh, all visiting heads of state are hosted by the Prime Minister. That is where the meeting will first take place between the two leaders, after which both of them will co-chair the fifth uh, intergovernmental consultations uh, between India and Germany. There you can see it, Angela Merkel getting back into her car, leaving now perhaps for Rajghat, uh, where uh, she will uh, pay her tributes to the father of the nation, Prime Minister Modi, bidding her uh, goodbye for now, but they will meet again at 11.30am. Uh, In fact, uh, Prime Minister Modi and, uh, J J and the Chancellor are going to meet twice today, later in the, in the day at 6.30pm at uh, the Prime Minister's residence. On that note, uh, we'll leave you with those visuals. We'll take a very quick break. News and updates on the other side.